I believe in the Constitution. I believe in the First Amendment. And there is nothing that Ruthless or any other company like us does that, um, that we shouldn't be doing. Ruthless Records was one of the first labels devoted to gangster rap and was the home of N.W.A., whose success was made possible by the label's independence. Boy, you should have known by now, Easy does Easy owns a company, right? He owns Ruthless Records. And if we'd have went to a major company from the beginning with the stuff we had, we'd have probably never been out, you know. But since we were doing the records ourselves, put out pretty much anything we want to, you know, and we took off. I mean, you got people coming that never did gangster rap before, because, okay, say the records that came out, they was commercial, all right? So they commercial, they come out, the records don't sell that much. The next album, they want to come out, they want to be gangster. I'm going to be a gangster, this record, man. I got to make myself hard, because that stuff is selling. So everybody jumped on the bandwagon. Definitely, I think Onyx has redesigned their image over time. And we've seen the progression of Dre from the world-class wrecking crew times to, to what he's doing now. It's just a fact. He wore, you know, a little tight stuff. You know, he had a little tight stuff, you know, eyeliner, lipstick. I mean, it was way out, but whatever he's doing, he got to be doing right. And I'm just giving him his props. Certainly, Hammer has redefined his image. There's a story in the Wall Street Journal about the boss having one image when she was in school, I guess, growing up in Michigan. And she says quite plainly in the article, she's a businesswoman. She's out here to get paid and get over in hip hop. So she's formulated this image now, even though I think she went to private schools when she was uh, growing up. And now she's the boss. We must get into discussions of the marketplace and capitalism because that also informs what these rappers do and don't do. I don't consider myself no gangster or nothing like that. I'm in here to make money, you know? Oh, it don't take away his credibility. It's just showing you that it's a business. He was probably manipulated by the music industry. They said, this is what you gotta do right now to catch the eye. So he just followed along to make the bucks and, and he tried to work his way out of the society. And he did what he had to. <laughs> But what Dre did more recently was sell over three million copies of his album, The Chronic, and launch the career of Snoop Doggy Dogg, whose debut solo album sold almost a million copies in one week. Those two albums made Dre's death row label very profitable, and to the dismay of their critics, popularized the gangster image more than ever. People often pick on rap rappers who are successful. If these guys weren't making any hits, they wouldn't be picking out. Reverend Calvin Butts, um, Dion Warwick and the different people talking about stopping the type of music that I do and they're only trying to, the only thing they're trying to do is um, take away jobs, you know, this is our job.